Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to find the second derivative of the function x to the x power. Of course, we just have to differentiate this twice, right? And after we have the second derivative, we can talk about the concavity of the graph of y is equal to x to the x power. So let's get to work. Let's go ahead and find our y prime right here. And in fact, I did that for you guys last time already. I will do it again for you guys though. And last time I showed you guys two ways on how you can show work, right? This time I'll just show you guys one way. The way I want to show you is that we notice the base is x, and then the power is also x. It's a function to a function situation. In this case, let's try to work with base e. So we will rewrite the base x as e to the ln x power. e and ln cancel, this is still x. And then we still have to take this raised to the x power. And when we have a power to a power, we can multiply the powers. That's one of the rule of exponents. So this is e to the x times ln x, OK? And now we will look at x to the x as e to the x times ln x and differentiate. We know the derivative of e to the something is first it repeats itself, right? So we write this down, e to the x times ln x power like that. And next, we have to use the chain rule, meaning we have to differentiate this part, right? So let's go ahead and open the parentheses. And this is the product of two functions. So we have to use product rule. And the product rule I want to use is, I will keep the first function, which is x, and differentiate the second, which is going to be 1 over x. And then we add the second function, which is ln x, and then we differentiate the first, which is 1, right? So that's pretty much it. At the end, we just have to write it back. This is going to be y prime equal to, this is what? This is just x to the x power. Let's write that down, all right? So this is x to the x power times x times 1 over x is, of course, just 1. And then we have plus ln x times 1 is just ln x. So that's the first derivative. Now, moving on to the second derivative. Of course, we have to look at the first derivative and differentiate this, right? Notice, this is a product of two functions. So we have to use the product rule, right? And let's go ahead and keep the first function, x to the x right here. And we multiply by the derivative of this. Derivative of 1 is 0, derivative of ln x is 1 over x, like that, OK? And then we add the second function, which is 1 plus ln x. And we multiply by the derivative of x to the x. And what's the derivative of x to the x? You see, originally, that was the function. When we differentiate that, the whole thing here is the derivative. So the derivative of x to the x is all that. So I'll write it down, x to the x times 1 plus ln x, right? So let me indicate this right here is the derivative of x to the x, right? And likewise, this is just the derivative of 1 plus x. 1 plus ln x, which is that. OK, is there anything that we can do? Of course, there are a few things that we can do. We can factor things out, and we can get a second derivative in a nicer form. This term and that term, they both have x to the x power. So let's factor that out. So we will have x to the x all the way to the front. And then the remaining thing for the first part right here is to 1 over x. And then this and that, right? for the second part. So we have plus 1 plus ln x times 1 plus ln x. So that's 1 plus ln x and then square, right? So this is pretty much it. This is the second derivative of x to the x. And perhaps sometimes we'll just combine the fractions real quick. So I can also rewrite this as x to the x power times. I will just have to multiply this by x on the bottom, x on the top. So this is 1 plus x times 1 plus ln x squared all over x, right? In fact, I will just box this for you guys. 